Since I was 12, I knew I wanted to become a millionaire before the age of 30, and I actually achieved it two times. It's a long story short, but I made it all, lost it all, and made it again. The reason why I'm bringing you this video is because if you're in your 20s and you're in doubt and you, you kind of lost your way around, or maybe you just have extremely big aspirations and you don't know if you're gonna make it, this video is for you. Now, when I was in my 20s, I always heard these guys talk about stuff and I thought, oh, well, I know it best. And I had that feeling for a long, long time. And then as I got older a little bit and became 30, I realized that it is truly worth listening to these people. And I'm not saying you should listen to me, but I definitely think that you cannot lose anything by watching this show. So everything I'm gonna share in this video is my personal thoughts with, with examples from my personal journey. And I hope, and I actually am pretty confident it will help you on yours. Number one thing that I can say with 100% certainty, and I know it's controversial, is that everything happens for a reason. I know you heard this a billion times, but by now I can guarantee you looking back the past 10, 12 years that every single little thing that I thought was gonna be horrible or that's ending my life or it's like very, very damaging for my future happened for an exact reason. And that ties in very nicely with the belief. Whether you have any religion or you don't have a religion, you have to have a belief. For me, my belief is that there is something called the universe. You wanna call it whatever you wanna call it. You can call it God, you can call it higher power. But there is something that guides us. Once you accept that everything happens for a reason, it will be much easier to accept all the setbacks on the journey. Now, my second advice is this shall pass too. Tom Hanks on a round table discussion, a fantastic, fantastic show, explained that no matter what you're going through, it will pass. As he says, do you think that you're on top of the world and nothing bad can happen to you? Well, this shall pass. Or do you think that this was the worst and most embarrassing moment of your life? Well, this shall pass as well. Time is your ally. And if nothing else, just wait out. Number three, grind. And I mean grind. If you want to make it, if you want to become a millionaire, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be an easy road because if it comes easy, it goes easy. Trust me, I learned it the hard way. If you want to have what the 1% has, you have to do what the 1% does. And that's tough. That comes with a lot of sacrifice. Long nights, 16 hour work days, missed birthdays, parties, holidays, investing your money and turning your money back into your businesses and whatever you do, instead of buying fancy clothes and cars and going to fancy restaurants and holidays, why everybody does that in your age. And that is difficult. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes you will feel embarrassed. Sometimes you will feel that you're not progressing enough. Sometimes you will feel that you don't have friends, but that's okay because you have a plan. And that brings me to the next point, which is have a plan. Now, more important than having a plan is having the courage to throw the plan out and adopt. Now, let me boil it down. It's very important to have a plan. Where do you want to get to in the next 12 months? Where do you want to be in the next five years, 10 years, 15 years? Where do you see yourself as a retiree? But it's also extremely important to be able to adopt. Now, here's a fun fact. Darwin said that it is not the most intellectual of species that survives. It is not the strongest that survives, but the species that is able best to adopt and adjust to changing environments in which it finds itself is the one that survives. This basically means that you don't have to be the strongest, you don't have to be the fastest, but you have to be able to adopt to change. And if you look at the most successful individuals and companies in the world, they reinvented themselves time by time. And if their plan didn't go accordingly, they pivoted, they analyzed, and they started again. So make sure to have a plan, but also make sure that you have the ability and the courage to say, no, this is not what I'm going to do. When I worked at the Hungarian national TV, because yeah, I did that. They told us that you have to have a script. And when you get on site, you have to throw the script out because nothing happens as planned. That's the same with your plan. You will have a plan, which is great because you have a direction, but then don't get stuck and have the courage to change it. Number five, understand the difference between macro and micro. And I know I'm, I'm not talking about macroeconomics here. I'm talking about the timeline that you see your own future. Let's take me as an example. I knew where I want to get to by the age of 30. I knew I wanted to be a millionaire. But it was very, very difficult to envision myself while I was cleaning toilets in a hotel when I was 22. Yet I still did not have a single doubt in myself that I'm going to make it happen. Why? Because I understood the difference between the micro and the macro. You see, macro means I'm going to be a millionaire. That means that's my long-term goal. I'm, I'm, I'm here right now. This is my macro goal. And I have all this time in between. And micro means these little achievements that you have on the way to achieving your macro achievements. You see, on the micro, there will be hardships. You will have to do stuff you don't want to do. There will be things that will be extremely difficult to do and you will hate them. But there is 
no macro achievement without the small micro achievements. And if you want to become a millionaire, that's not going to happen overnight. And even if it will, you will lose it all. Becoming a millionaire means that you have to create a character that will be able to handle that amount of money. And that character building requires you to go through a lot of small details, a lot of small achievements. And these small achievements sometimes are hard. I was working as a bartender. I was working as a housekeeper. And then I was working as a marketing expert. I was working as a consultant. And then slowly and slowly, I was getting closer to my macro goal. There is one thing that I want you to take away from this segment. And that is if you're unhappy on the micro level, but happy on the macro level, I think you're on the right track. If you're unhappy or unsure about the macro, that's what you have to fix first to understand why you're doing what you're doing on the micro level. If you have your macro, your long-term goal, and your micro achievement sounds very difficult and feels very difficult, but it is aligned with your macro or long-term goals, you are on the right track. But you have to know this and understand it. Next point is invest in yourself. Now, I know you want to get out, you have some money, and you want to spend it. Don't do it. Trust me. And I know you have to live and everybody says, oh, go and experiment. But experimenting and carpe diem and living in the present does not mean that you have to spend all your money on shitty stuff. Experimenting means that you are experimenting with yourself, trying to figure out who you really are. For example, I earned a very good salary from the age of 16, 17. I always made my way. I always had some, some hustle. I always made money, but I never had money. Why? Because I always invested my money into a new business before before the age of 22, I went broke two times and I bankrupted two companies. And I'm not proud of that. I'm just telling you that the reason why I never had money is because I invested in books. I invested in seminars. I invested in meetups. I invested in companies. I made stupid risk investments that actually eventually went to zero. But that's the good stuff. In my opinion, you have to use your money wisely and you have to invest in yourself. If you have a thousand dollars, don't try to make a million dollars from that one thousand dollars. Put the thousand dollars into something, into yourself, buy some books buy some great clothes, go to great meetings. And instead of trying to make a million from a thousand, try to make 10,000 from a thousand by investing in yourself, learning, growing and becoming better day by day. Again, keep in mind the macro and the micro. All the points are important, but the next point is extremely, extremely important for me. Integrity, honesty, and responsibility. I think this is essential part of becoming a great human being, regardless of money. As I said it a million times on my shows as well, and on my ex account, which by the way, you should follow, that integrity and honesty is everything. There is no money that I would take in exchange for my integrity. You have one shot at losing your integrity and people won't believe you. Make sure that you preserve it. And what do I mean by that? You might wonder, okay, but what do you mean integrity and honesty and responsibility? Well, number one, you have to show up every single time. You have to be on time. Yeah, not even five minutes, six minutes. It's not acceptable. You have to be the first one to arrive and the last one to leave. If you promise you're gonna do something, do it. There are no excuses. If you screw up something, stand up and say, I screwed this up. And is it gonna be difficult? Yes, on what level? The micro level. But it will build you into a human being you need to be in your mind to become a millionaire or to become wealthy or to become happy. I think taking responsibility really is missing from today's world. And it's very important that you stand up, you take responsibility, you preserve your integrity and be honest at all times. Next point is be open-minded and do not be afraid to work for free. Now, I had this Twitter post, which went completely bananas when people started telling me, oh, why should I work for free and whatnot? Now, here's the thing. I work for free at every single company I work for. It doesn't necessarily mean that I work at a company and I don't earn any pay. No, it means that I over deliver and I do much more than I'm being paid for. Here's another example. I was working in a hotel and I hated it and I really needed to get out, but it was very difficult. I didn't speak the language in the country where I was, but I went up to the CEO of a nonprofit organization, shout out to human. And I told him that if you hire me today for 20 hours a week, I'm going to work for you another 20 hours a week, completely for free. Did I make enough to just get by? Yes. Did I make enough to thrive? No. But first off, I gained the experience. Second, I was able to get a foot in the door by promising free work. And three, I got a chance to show my ability. That's one part. And the other thing is be open-minded. What does that mean? That means that no matter how bad it sounds, no matter how impossible it seems like, try it. A very good example from my life is 
I was running a production company at one point and there was someone posting in a Facebook group saying they will pay $5,000 for one, sh one day shoot and it will be very simple and whatnot. Everybody posted, oh, it's a scam, it's a scam, don't take it. Well, from the country I'm from, $5,000 is someone's yearly salary. So that was a lot of money for me. And I DM the guy and I said, what do you want? It turns out that it's a guy from Canada who is looking for Eastern European videographers because it was much cheaper than to record all this in Canada. And we basically netted $4,000 even after expenses on each individual shoot. Now, while everybody, and I mean 20, 30 people saying it was a scam, I took a shot, take the opportunity and actually earn money out of it. Remember, always be open-minded and never be afraid to work for free. And the next one is comparison is the root of unhappiness. And I slightly disagree. Why? Because I think it's very important to compare yourself because that's how you can position yourself in the map. It's very important for you to have a goal, again, a macro perspective where you want to get to. And if you don't know where you are on the journey, you might get lost or you might feel lost. So I think it's important to compare yourself. The unhappiness doesn't come from comparing yourself. The unhappiness comes from trying to be someone else. So I think you have to understand where you stand by comparing, but don't try to be that person. Don't try to be sour about you not being at that point where that person is, or don't try to be jealous why that person has something and you don't have it yet. In my opinion, make sure you compare yourself, but give it just two seconds and then immediately focus back on yourself instead of focusing on others. Next one is take risks, fall fast and fall forward. Now, what do I mean by that? You are in your 20s. You might feel like this is the end and you have to achieve everything in the next two years and it's not going to happen. You might think that someone is 30 years old, they need a wheelchair already and whatnot, but that's not the case. I promise you. And I did not believe this. I always worked like someone wanted to take my life away, but it turns out it was not a bad strategy, but I'm just telling you that you do have time to fail. The first time I made my first William when I was 28 and lost it all, someone who I knew is a billionaire told me it's very good that you lost all that money. And I was like, what the f are you even talking about? And he was like, look, if you didn't lose this money now, you would lose it five years from now and it would be much difficult, more difficult to stand back up. And I agree with it. And in your 20s, you think that you cannot really risk, but you have to risk. That's the time to risk. What's the worst thing that can happen? You move back to your parents, you can take another job, you can go onto a boat and be a fisherman or fisherwoman. You know what I mean? There's not much that can happen to you on the long term that would actually harm your macro perspective. Obviously, stay safe and make sure that you don't start dealing drugs and do all that stuff. But in general, I think you understand what I mean. Now, you heard I said fall forward. And what does that mean? There is a fantastic speech from Denzel Washington that he explains why you need to fall forward. You see, we take, we don't take risks because we need something to fall back on. We need something to fall back on. I'm not going to risk my money. I'm not going to risk my time because what, what is going to happen if it doesn't work out? And that's the wrong attitude to take in my opinion, especially in your 20s. Make sure that you fall forward. You don't need anything to fall back on because if you already go to something saying, I have to have something to fall back on in your 20s, you're not going to be able to fall forward. Even though, you know, a lot of times they, says moon, they say moon is not the goal. Mars is the goal. And if we don't get there, we just fall back on moon and then what? But we still aim for Mars. Shout out to Elon Musk. Anyway, the point is, don't be afraid to fail. You have to fail. Failure is good. Struggle is good. Look at us, Banter, as a company. We throw a lot of darts. We launch meme coins. We do this, we do that. And some things fail, but that's fine. Experiment. Try to fail fast. And when you fail, make sure that you fall forward and continue growing, continue trying, continue experimenting because that's how you will grow and become the human being you need to be. Next point is never ask if I can do this. Never start making excuses before you ask how I can do this. Too many times, actually all the time I see people when I have an idea or we talk about an idea, some guys come in and say, oh, it's impossible to do because of this and this and this and this and this and, this and they already listed 10 reasons why it will not work without even thinking about how could it be possible? Always ask how, always ask how. How can I do this? And I guarantee you there will be a way. A very inspiring example for me is Elon Musk. When he was building Hyperloop, which is basically like an underground train that goes a thousand kilometers an hour between cities, he's been told that it's impossible to get a person up to the speed he wants to in that period of time because of the G-force that would eventually crush a human body. And his response when he was asked about this was, well, that's a problem we've got to solve. You see the mind shift when you say, I will figure out how I can solve it because there is no way that there is no way. And if you look into the mirror, be honest, a lot of times what probably happens with you as well is I'm not going to be able to do this because of this, because of that. Ah, what if it doesn't work? And then you never get started. Start. I'm telling you, start and always ask, how 
can I do this? And the answer will be there. And the next point is also something close to my heart, but it is true and it's difficult. You will lose some people, but that's okay. You see, when you start growing, whether we're talking about your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your grandparents, or just your surrounding, your neighborhood, or your old friends, remember what I said at the beginning. If you want to have what the 1% has, you have to do what the 1% does. And not everybody will go down that path. In fact, 99.9% .9 of people won't go down that path. And it's a difficult path. Sometimes you will have to say no. A lot of times you will have to say no. You will have to choose yourself, even though that will go against your family beliefs, even though that you will be critiqued, even though that you will be ridiculed and nobody will believe you, you have to keep going. And losing people is difficult. It is very tough. But from my personal experience, I can tell you that's the only way to move forward. And now before you go home and you say, F you mom and that's not what i mean family is always going to be family we hope that friends will stick around as well but here's how i look at it you have one life one shot do you want to live someone else's life based on someone else's rules or you want to create your own reality the decision is yours i would always choose creating my own reality even though it's tougher than just to go with the crowd talking about the crowd next point is surround yourself with people who lift you up you are the average of the people who you surround yourself with. An extremely good example for me is Banter. I've been craving for a community like Banter. I've been craving to meet people like the people at Banter. And when you start surrounding yourself with people who are outperforming, who are better, where you're not the smartest guy in the room, if you are the smartest guy in the room or girl in the room, you have to leave. You're in the wrong room. You have to be the stupidest in the room because that's where you have way to grow. Make sure to surround yourself with people who lift you up and cut off the people who don't lift you off. And I know some people will critic me for saying this out loud, but this is what I think. You have to progress. You have to progress. And if someone pulls you back, you have to cut them off. And if someone lifts you up, you have to spend more time with them. And last but not least, please trust the process. Now I started this video saying that you need to have a belief and that's kind of the same thing. I can guarantee you everything happens for a reason and I can guarantee you that the process is in place and you are moving forward. If you have belief, if you're working your face off, if you know that what your macro goal is, if you're working and waking up every single day towards that goal, I promise you, you are going to make it. I promise you, guaranteed. But if you're going to get lost in the weeds and asking why this, this happened to me and you're going to go into the Victim, victim mentality and you're going to try to figure out how could this have happened differently and you're going to try to get back that girl, try to get back that job or you're just going to be afraid of change. It's not going to work. And there is a very, very famous speech from Steve Jobs that says connecting the dots. You can never connect the dots looking forward because you don't know what the dot is going to be, what the event is going to be. But right now, if you look back at your life, I want you to think about this right now. You're sitting in front of the computer. Try to think back, how did you get here on the macro scale? And you start thinking, well, I started watching Crypto Banter and then I found that found out what I found this show. Or I just started watching YouTube because I started educating myself on finance and I found this guy. And maybe you will subscribe to this channel and maybe you will follow me on X and maybe we'll just make money together this bull market and I'll drag you into crypto. And when you're in crypto, you will start investing and maybe you're going to be the next Michael Saylor, who is a famous Bitcoin investor. Anyway, all I'm saying is you can connect the dots going back. If you can't connect the dots going forward, which you can't, it's, it's simply impossible. Why would you spend and the energy on it. Just trust the process and everything will fall into place. And that was it, ladies and gentlemen. I, I hope that you enjoyed this show. This was a little bit unique show and I actually would really, really like to read your, your comments below. If you want more of this, if you like this, if you didn't like this, if you agree or if you don't agree, please let me know in the chat. I will read every single comment and I will reply to every single comment as well. If you like this, please subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, follow me on X, where I'll give you all this alpha every single day. If you want to learn how to trade, follow my trading channel where I do a live show every single day. It's down in the description called 100X Club. And most importantly, come back again. Thanks for watching and I believe I'll see you in the next one.